Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we look at an air temperature coming in uh, that's pretty comfortable, coming in at 68 degrees or so. We have a dew point of 61. Dew point is falling. We are uh, starting the day off with some very cool temperatures across the entire area. 70 Mayaka, 68 Sarasota, 70 in Venice, 70 in Inglewood, 71 in Northport, 68 Long, but we just haven't raised our temperatures all that much. We have a lot of cloud cover around. We have a very saturated air. I do think that if we break out into a little sunshine, though, we can bump those temperatures up by about five to eight degrees by the end of the day. And I'm not too, uh, not too worried about that. It's just how soon we can get into a little bit of sunshine. I think we're on the doorstep. There'll be some sunshine just to the north of us now, some of the reporting stations up there. And we have a, a kind of a, a sharp delineation between the really thicker cloud cover and thin clouds that will allow some sun and some heating through. You'll notice the clouds are basically moving from west to east across the northern tier and even in the center part of the country. This is what we call a zonal flow which means it's going from west to east and not much north-south motion. So cold air stays north, warm air stays south, and you just don't get a lot of motion. Now, we did have a front that moved through. That's what's causing all the cloud cover to our south here. And that frontal boundary did allow some cooler air to move in, some lower dew point air. And it will continue to drain down over the next 24 hours or so until the winds shift one more time. But this is not an Arctic blast. This is not a, a, a drainage of cold air all the way down the country and into the peninsula of Florida. It's just not. It's uh, a little bit of the colder air that was already in place now finally pushed through our area in a modified form. Um, some drier air just on our, on our doorstep here will certainly allow the temperatures to bump up a little bit, but we'll still, if we get enough sunshine today, still run above average in our temperatures. The temperature we're feeling now is just a few degrees below what we would normally feel at this time of year for a daytime high. So if we get a little sunshine in here, we'll again end up above average for the day. And you can see the high moisture content air here indicated by the turquoise color rapidly being replaced by the browner colors of drier air as high pressure builds in. The frontal boundary itself in the process of decaying away winds out of the north northeast bringing down that drier air. Now eventually those winds are going to shift more to the east. That'll cut off the cold air drainage and as a frontal boundary moves through here it certainly won't cool us down all that much. It might just pick up the wind speeds a little bit and by the weekend we'll start to warm once again. So today slightly cooler than yesterday. Lots of clouds around but in the process of decaying away and much sunnier skies by tomorrow. You look at the wind speeds. The wind speeds are uh, you know, not too terribly bad. This is not a strong frontal boundary by any stretch of the imagination. 10 to 15 knot wind, that's about it at most. For boaters today, those winds picking up a little bit in the afternoon, 10 to 15 knots will give you a uh, moderate chop later on tonight, but right now a little light chop out in Bay and Inland waters. And the forecast calls for after a cooler couple of days, I won't call them cool because they're still above average, by the time we get to the weekend, we'll be well above average with Christmas Day probably cracking the 80 degree mark and staying there for the first couple of days of the new week, the last week of the year. Donnie? 